What is up everyone? In this video, I will be sharing six reasons why 99% of sellers fail on Etsy and we are starting right now. Number one is not being consistent and expecting immediate results. If you're not willing to put in the work and to always be learning, improving, and implementing, you will have a hard time finding success. Remember, consistent action creates consistent results, so don't quit too early. You could be just one design away from your store taking off. Number two is not using proven SEO. You have to think like a buyer and use keywords that will connect your listing with the buyer when they're searching. One way that I love to do my keyword research is I go straight to the source. So I go to Etsy, I search whatever niche I'm designing in. I would then go and scroll through the first few pages seeing what keywords are working and ranking for these specific listings. So you can click on a few of these different listings, figure out what type of SEO they're using and what type of SEO is working, and then construct your own title and your own tags based on the research that you did. If you want to dive in deeper to how to do keyword research, I suggest watching my SEO video. I walk you through the exact methods that I do to find proven keywords for all of my listings. Number three is not doing trend research and not trend combining. You have to do your trend research in order to have success on Etsy. Again, I would go and search a keyword for whatever niche I'm designing in. So for this example, I will do Thanksgiving shirts. And I would scroll through these first few pages paying close attention to what reoccurring color palettes I see, font styles and graphics, and you'll slowly start to pick up on trends that you can incorporate within your own designs. With doing trend research though, you have to bring your own taste to the table by creating something unique and different that will stand out on the marketplace. If you just go and copy another design, I can promise you, you will struggle to have success. Another issue that I see sellers have is they design in very saturated niches. So if you expect to create a general Christmas design and stand out, I can promise you, you will have a hard time. So you have to trend combine and cross niche and include multiple niches within one design. And I'll show you an example. So here we have Christmas shirts and there's over a million listings here for that specific keyword. But if we're able to cross niche and trend combine, the competition will reduce significantly. So instead of just doing Christmas shirts, let's do Christmas shirts for doctors. So we're taking two things here. We have Christmas and doctors and we're combining it into one design and we only have 4,900 listings and this will increase your chances of standing out on the Etsy marketplace. Number four is using bad mockups to showcase their design. Your thumbnail photo is your first impression for any buyer and it has to stand out in order to get that first initial click for someone to click through to your store. And you do this by using very high quality professional mockups. If you're using Printfuls or Printify's mockups, I highly recommend changing your ways and start investing in some really nice mockups off of the Etsy marketplace. If you don't know how to find these mockups on Etsy, you just go to the search bar, type in whatever shirt it is that you're selling. So if it's a Bella Canvas or a Gildan, you would type that in and the specific color that you want. So for this example, I will do the white Bella Canvas 3001. I typed in white Bella Canvas 3001 mockup and there's over 23,000 listings here that I can choose from at a very affordable price. So most mockups will cost between two to seven dollars at the most and it's a great way to really showcase your design and to set yourself apart on the Etsy marketplace. I also have a mockup shop myself so feel free to check it out. The link is in the description. I promise you you will see a significant difference in traffic and sales once you start using high quality mockups. Do not not limit your success by not investing in your business. Number five is not having enough high quality listings. As of 2021 in quarter three, there were 5.2 million active sellers. So you are such a small fish in the game when starting out. So you have to start increasing your listing count in order to have a chance to be found on the Etsy marketplace. Your goal should be to have a large quantity of high quality listings in order to stand out. And remember, the more lines you have in the water, the more chances you will have to catch a fish. With this though, you need to have all of the necessary ingredients in order to create the perfect recipe, so do not neglect quality. The more at-bats you have, the more chances you have at hitting a home run. So if you have 10 at-bats or 10 listings, you only have 10 chances of hitting a home run. But if you have 100 at-bats or 100 listings, you have 100 opportunities of hitting a home run. So increase your listing count with high quality trending designs, proven SEO, and professional mockups, and you'll start to see your traffic and sales 
sales increase drastically. Number six is not asking for or receiving reviews. Don't be afraid to ask for reviews when starting out. You have to get reviews in order to create social proof in your store and the reviews will act as the foundation for your shop. If you missed my interview with Ryan Hogue, watch this video right here. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.